The Broad Cider is a unique heavy weapon that fires cannonballs in Fallout 4 and in this video I will show you how to get it. Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. In order to get your hands on the weapon, you will first need to make yourself to the USS Constitution. It is far northeast of Diamond City and directly east of Bunker Hill. Once you make it to the location, go ahead and speak to Lookout who is this robot over here. Scanning. There. Go ahead and select the might help option. Depending on what you need. The fire wind holds. The captain and with that, Lookout will tell you to go and speak to the captain who is found on the deck of this boat. So what we will need to do is actually make our way to the deck of this boat. So to do that, just follow this path. So enter the building, go up this way. And then simply go up this set of stair over here. Look to your left and just follow it through. And as you do that, if you now look to your right, you should be able to go into the bottom deck of this boat. Now, as you enter the boat, just look to your north and just sort of follow this going through each level one at a time. So as you get to the end, just go up the stairs and now do the same and now go and you should be heading south. And as you do that, again, you should see another set of stairs go up. And then one final time, you should go north and you will be stopped by the first mate over here. Go ahead and select the calm down option and with that you should now be able to get to the deck by just using this stair over here once on the deck just go ahead locate the captain and speak to him hey captain i'll have none of your lip mr navigator have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow go ahead and select the thanks option thanks for calling him off me the scan shows you have the proper number of a i am captain ironside you go ahead and select the humor him option Sad state of affairs for such a historic. On that, we are in agreement. What vexes. Go ahead and select the I'll help option. Just tell me what you need. Good man. Consult your lively He will ask you to go and speak to Bosnan, who is another robot sort of in the bottom of the ship. So go ahead and go back into the lower decks. Now go ahead and speak to Bosnan, and he will instruct you to go ahead and install some power cables. But let's speak to Bosnan first. Your very presence does this up my programming with fun. Go ahead and select the OK option. Okay. To the mm -hmm. Alex Marine Expedition. Go ahead and select the I'll help option. I'll get right on it. Buying some once you have resolved this. Uh -huh. Now with this, if you just look right behind you, in this box here will be a set of power cables. Just go ahead and take them. And from here, we will now need to install three power cables. So the first one is right here, right next to the box where you found the cables. Go ahead and open them and go ahead and install the power cable. Now, if you don't take the power cable, you can alternatively fix all the power cables as long as you have an intelligence of three or above. So we will use the power cable. So that's the first one done. Next one, just jump down through this hole here on the floor and go ahead and access this panel over here. And again, just do the same thing. And the last one is found right here next to this set of stairs. And with that, we will now need to go and speak to Bosnan. So again, just make your way up and go ahead and speak to Bosnan. Hey, Bosnan. How? Course is through the Constitution's mind. Huh? Go ahead and select Don't Worry. So after speaking to Bosnan, now what we will need to do is to repair the relay coil. So again, whilst on the same deck level, just follow the cursor to the map marker. And what you want to do is access it over here. And you can either go and get one, or if you have an intelligence of at least five, then go ahead and just use this option to repair the damaged coil. Now, go ahead and speak to Bosun again. Now go ahead and select the You're Welcome option. Now we need to go up back to the deck again. So just use the stairs here to go back up to the deck. Once we're back on the deck, you will notice that a fight has broken out. So what we need to do is just fire the cannons by activating the circuit breaker. Okay, with that done, we will now need to go and actually speak to the navigator, but that won't happen, not until all of these uh, scavengers have been taken care of. So you may need to go down yourself and do that. Now, instead of going through the levels of the ship, a quicker way would be to just access it through this here. So now that you've accessed this sort of boat from the deck level, you'll be able to go straight to the deck and down whenever you want. Anyway, with that, just go ahead and take care of any remaining scavengers. 
Once you've taken care of the scavengers, we need to go back to the deck and speak to Ironside. So again, just go ahead and speak to him. Scavenger threat. Go ahead and select the good defense option. Robots do a good job of defense. Proclamation. Uh huh. And again, select I'll help. I can help. Where is it? Stolen by hmm. reclaim chip at scavenger. And now what you will need to do is recover the guidance chip from the scavengers. So the scavengers sort of down there. So what we can do is use that shortcut that I've shown you. So simply use the shortcut to go down. Now we can speak to the scavengers or we can be a, a little bit cheeky and just basically take the guidance chip. So follow this path and as you sort of go down this way, just around the corner from here are the scavengers themselves. So you can go ahead and speak to them, you don't really absolutely have to. Just go in here and just take it straight from here. Once you take it, just go straight back up to the deck. Now obviously because you've done that, you will obviously upset the scavengers, so you will need to take them out along the way. So with that done, we're going to go back to the deck, and we're just going to use that boat over there that I showed you earlier as a quick shortcut to going back straight to the deck. And once you're on the deck, we will need to go ahead and actually install it. So go ahead and put it in this machine. So after you have actually installed the chip, you will need to go and speak to the navigator again. Now, sadly, the navigator decides to, at random intervals, just go for a bit of a run. So you might need to go and fish him. Uh, but once you found him, just go ahead and speak to him. Now go ahead and say, happy to help. Happy to help you out. And now you will need to go and either replace the radio transmitter or get, uh, get one from a particular location that we'll look at. To actually do this so again we're going to go back to the deck so that i can show you exactly where we will need to install it so we will now need to go and actually find a guidance radar or rather a component now to do this we can do this with a in terms of level nine so i'm going to assume that a number of people watching this video have roughly an intelligence of five so we can do everything up to this point but probably don't have intelligence of nine so we will actually need to go and actually go and find one to repair this now luckily we can find one in the Poseidon Energy Turbine and luckily for us it's not too far from the USS Constitution. It is roughly northwest of it. So from here if you travel northwest you will be able to find yourself inside the Poseidon Energy Turbine. Once you actually make it all you want to do is go inside and just take a left over here and from here just follow the stairs all the way down. And as you do that again it's just a simple path. From here, you should find a crate, and inside this trunk will be a Poseidon radar transmitter. With that, we can now take that back to the deck and repair the radar. Once you make it back to the deck, just go ahead and use it and install it on the radar. We will now need to speak to the navigator again, so go ahead and speak to the navigator. Mr. Navigator. Ahoy, soldier. And with that, we will now need to speak to Ironside. To our noble go ahead and select the job done option. I got the job done. Quite commendable. And then go ahead and say, got it. Got it. The ship requires turbo pump. With that, we will now need to go and find some turbo pump bearings. And again, this will be another thing that we need from another location. To get yourself the turbo pump bearings, you would be asked to either go to the Fort Hagen or another possible location. In this instance, I've been asked to go to Fort Hagen. It is located on the far west side of the map and it is also far south of Sanctuary. So from Sanctuary, if you go straight south, you will eventually find yourself in Fort Hagen. From here, we need to go inside. Now, you can't just go through the front door. We will need to use a entrance at the top of the building. So to do that, just follow this path, go behind the building and just use these wooden ramps to gain access to the roof area of the building. Again use this area to gain access to the roof and just sort of follow yourself onto this side of the roof and you should be able to get in through this latch on the roof over here once inside from here just head north through into this room and from here use this doorway to sort of head west and then just use this set of cells you see on the left and just go down one floor once down from here look to your right and follow this pathway all the way around and then go through to the door here you see once you get to this area again just go straight 
And from here, again, follow this path and you should see a trunk and inside that trunk should be the bearings. What we need to do is now go back to the ship. Once you make it back to the ship, we will need to actually install the bearings inside the captain's room. So just go ahead into the lower levels of the ship. And once inside, what you need to do is go into the captain's room. And from here, you should be able to install the bearings. With that, you will need to go back to the captain and speak to him. Now go ahead and speak to the captain one last time. Trim the power on the starboard bow. Go ahead and select reward. The reward better be worth it. You shall not be disappointed. And then select that's ambitious. That's ambitious. As they say, mm -hmm. Mr. Navigator. Now with that, you will be attacked again. Now what we want to do is defend the constitution one more time, or the constitution rather, one more time. Go ahead and just use the cannons to fire it off. And if there are any remaining scavengers, then you will need to take care of them yourself. And once you've taken care of all the scavengers, go ahead and speak to Ironside one more time. Captain Ironside. The borders are repelled. All hands. Go ahead and select the congratulations option. One thing. We need power from the auxiliary. Go ahead and select the consider it done option. Consider it done. I admire your here is your amply deserved. And with that, he will give you the broad cider. Unlike many other heavy weapons, the Broadsider fires explosive cannonballs. As already mentioned, the Broadsider is a heavy weapon. It fires cannonballs and has a base damage of 108. It has a clip size of just 1, with a fire rate of just 2. It has a pretty impressive range of 203 and an accuracy of 63. When considering perks, you really only want 3 perks to get the best out of this weapon. You want bloody mess and this will increase the damage of the weapon by 5%. You also want demolition expert and this will increase the damage that your cannonballs do as this increases the damage of explosive weapons. And lastly you probably want heavy gunner. This will increase the damage of the weapon in general due to the fact that it is a heavy weapon. When it comes to weapon modifications for the broadsider there's really only three things you can modify. The barrel, the grip and the shot canister. For the barrel you probably want to go with the light barrel. What this will do is increase the accuracy of 2 and it will also decrease the weight by 4.5. It will also provide a better hip accuracy. For the grip, you probably want to go with the steady grip. Again, this will increase the accuracy and it will reduce the coil and also increase the accuracy with hip fire. For the shot canister, you probably want to go with the multi-shot canister. What this will do is provide better ammo capacity, increase ammo by 2 and increase your fire rate by 18. The Broad Cider is a unique weapon, one of the few that fires cannonballs unlike many other heavy weapons. If you enjoy using heavy guns, then you may want to click on the video you see on the screen now, another great heavy weapon in Fallout 4.